Hey guys, welcome in data instruction and algorithm. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about the stack. Yeah, so let's move. Uh, a stack is a linear data structure which follows last in, first out, on, or you can say in abbreviated format, uh, LIFO principle. That means the objects can be inserted or removed only at one end of it, also called as top. So that means you can add and remove items from the top in the stack yeah uh, mainly the following three basic operations are performed in a stack first push adding an item into the top of the stack uh, is called uh, pushing an item if a stack is full then it is said to be an overflow condition so this is considered as an exceptional condition when uh, a stack is already full and if you try to push an item then that is considered as a overflow condition and that basically uh, that basically follow that basically shows the uh, exceptional condition now next pop pop is nothing but the removing an item from the top of a stack if a stack is empty then it is said to be underflow condition this also represents a exceptional criteria yeah so if a stack is already full then you cannot perform pop an item right you cannot pop an item because there is no item so this is uh, basically represents the underflow condition then last but not the least peak or top peak or top returns top uh, element of a stack so whatever item is on the top that will be returned so here if you look into the pop and peak uh, there is a main difference in case of pop element will be uh, basically uh, uh, basically uh, uh, top elements will be uh, returned and that will be removed but in case of peak only top item will be returned but that will not be removed yeah so when we talk about the stack uh, the a pile of uh, plates you know cafeteria is a good example of a stack right the plates are added to the stack uh, as they are cleaned and they are placed on the top right when a plate is required it is taken from the top of the uh, stack the plate uh, the first plate placed on the stack is the last one to be used right so here this picture represents the basically a uh, stack but uh, let's try to understand through a pictorial diagram so here let's say i'm going to draw a stack so let's draw one stack so here let's say this diagram represents a stack let's say this stack contains four elements and just to make uh, our, under, our understanding uh, too much clear uh, let's say this stack holds the integer value you can put any kind of item in the stack but here just sake for a uh, better understanding uh, just uh, i'm assuming this stack contains the basically uh, integer value so here uh, a stack is having a four uh, basically a spaces right a four uh, cells so this will hold maximum four values that means max size of this stack is four right let's say first item i want to uh, put into this stack that means if this is first cell there we will put that item let's say i'm inserting 10 so item has uh, putting in the first cell and top initially will point to the minus one so top initially will point to minus one top equals to minus one right once you add item one item in the into the uh, basically a stack then that will be added in the first item and top will be incre incremented by the uh, one so i would do top plus plus right so initial value of top uh, was minus one if you increment by one then this will become top equal to zero so this will basically point to the zeroth element uh, zeroth element this is zero uh, one two and this is three right so now top is pointing on the zeroth element right now let's say i add one more item let's say 20 then this will be added into the second cell means uh array which is having index is one that will be added and now top will be pointing to the first cell right so top again increment after putting uh, basically one item into the stack top again will be incremented by one so now top is gonna point to this element right so now top is pointing on this element right 
let's say i put two more item let's say 30 and uh, 40 then top will be pointing to the uh, last element which is this is inserted there top will be pointing right so now top is now going to point on the last inserted elements which is here right now you cannot add more elements in this uh, basically a stack because top is, uh, because the stack is already full if you try to uh, basically enter one more item then this condition is called overflow right that means uh, you need to implement a uh, code in such a way this will throw an exception a stack is already full let's say now this is all about the pushing item right so now let's say i would like to call the peak peak means that will return the top item from the uh, basically your stack and that's it right so if i call the peak then this will basically return peak will return basically uh, element which is pointing on the top so that is nothing but the 40 this will be returned but if i call a pop right so let's say I, top is currently pointing uh, to the last element which is 14 let's say i call pop then this is going to return us 40 and at same time this item will be removed from the stack as well so now top minus minus you have to do so top will be decremented by one and now top is basically going to point on this element right now top is pointing on this element when we call the pop right and this item will be garbage collected right so this is the way basically a stack works right so when you call push then item is going to put into the stack and top is going to increment by one every time right whenever you do the new push when I, a stack is already full and you try to put item means when, when, when a stack is already full and you try to uh, put more item then this has to throw some exception and that exception is called something is overflow right and similarly if you call the uh, pop many times and all items will be removed from the from the basically this uh, uh, stack then finally top again will be pointing on the minus one right if all the items is removed and uh, uh, in that case if you try to call a uh, pop then this will throw an exception because uh, because the stack is already empty and you will try to pop item right uh, that will not allow if uh, a stack is already empty you call the peak then this is also a basically exceptional condition right so that's all i wanted to just explain you in this video tutorial next video tutorial will implement a stack in java guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial